What's up everyone? It's Rick here with UTVSource.com. So we are at Fabworks. Um, you guys know who they are. We sell them on the website. Their cages, their designs. It's top notch stuff. We've got a couple builds going on inside. One of them has been going on for about four to five months. It's a very special build for a customer of ours. Actually, he's a friend of mine as well. Um, his name's Bill. Bill's six foot eight, six foot nine. He's, he's a big dude. Um, he came to us and asked us to help him build the baddest ass XP Pro ever, period. So I got together with Thad at Fabworks and uh, we came up with some ideas. I had a lot of ideas. Um, Thad's implementing those ideas with his, his skill set. He's a craftsman, he's old school. He's not a, a computer designer guy, right? He, uh, he builds like I used to build, basically. Just starts putting it together. And if it's wrong, doesn't like it, comes off. It's not a waste of time when you get things right. So we're gonna go on a quick shop tour, check this XP Pro out. Plus there's a Honda Talon full kill cage being built again uh, for one of our other customers. And uh, enough of this, let's go see this beast. This is the 2020 XP Pro build we got going on for Big Bill over at Fabworks. It's got the HCR kit on it. It's powder coated Lambo gray got the custom front bumper that's now available for all XP pros it's got the method race wheels tensor tires this is a one of one build again bills a uh, six foot ten it's got the custom front hood scoop which is actually functional it's gonna pull the air in and push it into the driver because it's got a full windshield and that's a massive windshield a lot of sheet metal work went on Custom doors. Went ahead and did armrests on them as well. Inner sheet metal work. See it's got the hydraulic shock to keep the doors open. It's getting a set of custom PRP GTSE seats. A lot of mods went on this car. You can see it got clipped here versus being installed on a standard cage. So we can run an extra wide seat billet seat rails slammed this the seat down about three to four inches right now. now if you notice on the roof the skin it comes down over this cage has been also lifted over factory because Polaris XP Pro models have the sh shortest cage according to Polaris so this makes it look smaller everything on this car is custom made going to be getting a RFS headliner, fiber optic headliner on there as well. This thing's so sick. So this also gets window nets here, front and back seats. Inner door panels on the rear as well. This is very interesting. It's got a Yeti cooler that's gonna mount right here. Those bags are gonna mount right here. You can see the fuel neck over there has been modified to go over that way as well. So it looks like the rear's floating off, but it's really not because we actually had the back of the car cut off and a whole new back chassis built for it. It's got the Trinity Stage 5 exhaust system on. That was one of the first things we put on see where everything's been cut all the aluminum's been ditched it's got a brand new rear radius rod plate it's got the HCR 72 inch conversion kit couple things to note on this kit right off the bat is we added this this is for a jack mount the jack's gonna go in here like that and pick up the trailing arm and it won't slide out that's the dual sport kit. Got a set of 33 inch tensors on the method race wheel, flat black. And again, the, I guess you could call that Lamborghini gray. So there's, it got a bed delete, right? All the plastic bed came off. We'll go inside here. This is now twice the size 
air intake for the, the belt and clutch system. It's all custom made. See all the beautiful work that's been done. Everything's on Zeus. This is the Zeus tab here, it's been bead rolled. You'll notice the bead roll on the door, flows into the back door, flows into this pocketed stylish vent that's been pushed back out to be flushed. The back rear lights have been flushed in. This car holds a full spare in the back, but you can actually put two on here. So those tubes underneath the car hook to this. It's a removable intake right there. And that's the factory air box, which everything has remained stock. The black factory wall will go back over this. These are probably gonna get cut off still. Also in the back, all this is all handmade aluminum and it dives back under and there'll be a Casey Highlights rear chase light bar flushed in behind there as well. This bumper isn't going to be for like you normal bolt-on guys. It's gonna require a little bit more work, meaning you're gonna have to trim your plastics here. See how this is bolted on and it has a bar that runs across the front to a tube clamp here. On both sides. So you can remove it to pull this grill shell out. With this bumper is also a massive bulkhead inside. That's all been redone and a skid plate. So this is a real like race inspired Nerf bumper, basically. And up front, you got the HCR long travel kit with the Ibox spring rate change. It's all the factory Fox live valve systems. And uh, hopefully in a week, week and a half, this is going to be getting wired and interior. Until next time, guys, remember to keep tuning in at YouTube Store, on Instagram, on YouTube, subscribe to our email list. If you guys have questions, hit us up. If you want us to oversee your build, there's a possibility, uh, maybe. <laughs> it's a lot of work. This thing is just so cool. But we'll see you next time.